Stop trying to micromanage God. Oh, oh, blessings and blessings. My name is Preston Smiles and I help people get free from the inside out regardless of their external circumstances. And today's transmission is a challenge. I'm challenging you to stop micromanaging God. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, God, we can replace that with universe, with Buddha, with Krishna, with Jesus, with Allah, with source, with divine intelligence, whatever name feels most potent for you. The challenge is for you to stop trying to micromanage that thing. Now, I'll start with a story. Twice in my life, I believed that somebody was my person. This is my one. Uh, the first one, which is what this story is about, was this interesting person who I dated, uh, who I clearly gave all my power to. Now just that statement alone, type yes, P, I'm with you in the comments below. If you've given a lot or all of your power to a being, because you wanted to be loved so bad, right? I got into this relationship with this person, I gave this person all of my power, and then I started trying to tell God, yo, God, I see the red flags. I see how this isn't necessarily feeling like completely aligned, but God, this is it. I started trying to control and micromanage God and try to make, look, look at us, look how we are together, look how we look together. I started envisioning kids and X, Y, and Z, and all the while, my higher self knew. But my, my mind and my body, remember, remember we're threefold beings, body, mind, and soul. My, my mind and my body were saying, this is it. My soul, I could feel it, I could feel it, I could feel it. My soul was saying, nah, homie, this ain't it. But then I started battling with the soul and, this, and the oversoul. Hey, God, this is it. This is it. Now, ultimately, the soul and God, isness, always wins. And so, she ended up breaking up with me. And it broke my heart so bad that it fixed my vision. And in fixing my vision, I recognized that I needed to fall back in love with me. And in falling back in love with me, I became such a walking, talking, breathing, beautiful demonstration of self-love that I attracted a woman, Alexi, my wife, into my space. And that actually was my one. And we created four beautiful children, multi-million dollar business. We've traveled all over the world and all of that would not have occurred if I was trying to hold on to the idea about who I wanted God to place into my life and how. I need it. This is the timing. This is who. This is how. Right? You get to let go and let God. You get to let go and grow. Let go and overflow. You get to trust the divine orchestration that is occurring all around you and all in your life and has been since you were here. Since you've been on this planet, do you know many things that went wrong and went right in order for you to be where you are right now? And you may be sitting in what you believe is wrong but that's just from the personality level. From the personality mind level, you think you figured it out and I'm here to remind you to let it go. Surrender. Trust. Trust the process. Have faith hmm. in the magic of life. Every time you thought you were out, every Every rejection ended up turning into redirection and this one is going to be no different if you understood what God was doing way ahead. It is moving ahead of you. If you understood, you would let go. So this is that reminder. Blessings and blessings. Leave a comment below if this landed in any way, even if it's just yes and thank you. Thank you, P. Thank you for the reminder. I love you all. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. And I'll see you very soon. Let's go.